Hi, welcome to our number guessing game application that we are going to develop today. What is a number guessing game? It is basically a software that will randomly pick a number and the user is supposed to guess that number. Okay, and how do you do this uh, in any software? You basically need to make sure that you have the ability to create some random number. In Python, uh, we can uh, achieve this by importing the random library. So we're going to start off with import random. Okay, so before anything else, since this is a game, we want to uh, have a nice welcome message. So we're going to say print uh, welcome to the number guessing game. Okay, and then we're going to say uh, we want to now randomize the answer, that means the number that the user must guess and put it into a variable. So I'm going to call that variable answer equals to random dot rand int 1 10. Okay, so what does rand int do? It generates a random integer. Integer is uh, a whole number. Okay, and it returns a random integer within the range of A to B, including both ends. That means including A and B. Okay, now, uh, once we have this random number, which is from 1 to 10, we must also make sure that the in a game, the user has a limited number of tries. Okay, so we want to keep track of how many times he has tried uh, this game. Okay, so we can uh, have a variable for that. So I can say uh, count number of tries equals to one okay once uh, we have that we can proceed to ask the user to enter a number so this is the number that the user is actually guessing so i'm going to call this variable guess it goes to integer input please enter a number one to ten and I want to tell the user up front that you only have a maximum of three attempts. Okay, so as you remember uh, from our earlier videos, input is to capture uh, input from the user, and int here is to cast it to an integer. Okay, to make sure that whatever value we capture is now uh, represented as an integer variable in the program. Okay, so now I've captured the input from the user and I want to do a check to see whether it is matching with my answer. And since I need to give the user three attempts, okay, uh, we know that we need to use a loop. Okay, so if you have uh, sort of forgotten some of the loop concepts, please look back at my earlier video where we have discussed about the different loops. Uh, here I'm going to use a while loop. So while guess is not equals to answer that means the uh, input from the user is not the same as the random number that was generated okay i'm going to print and tell the user sorry wrong guess okay and since the answer is uh, since the guess is wrong I want to also check whether he has hit the maximum number of tries. So if the count number of tries is equals to 3, then I break. This break is to break away from the loop. Okay, if I don't have this, then the loop will continuously uh, keep iterating until the correct number is guessed. Okay, in this case, I'm having a maximum count of three. So once I hit this maximum count of three, I will break from the loop. Okay, if I have not hit the maximum count, then I also want to provide some hint to the player of on whether the number was higher or lower than the actual answer. Okay, so I can do a else if, else if, if the guess is less than the answer, then we say print your guess was lower than the answer. Uh, 
Okay, and the last one is else. So there's only two options, correct? If my guess is not the answer, then it's either higher or lower. So if it is not lower, it has to be higher. So I don't need to do another if check, I can just say else. Okay, if it is not lower, it has to be higher. So I can straight away print here, print your guess was higher than the answer. Okay, now we can prompt the user for the second input okay the, I mean the second uh, iteration of the or the next iteration of the loop so I'm going to say guess is equals to int input please guess again okay so um, there are of course different ways to have approached this uh, program uh, so you could have put an infinite loop here and uh, put this uh, integer input inside here so you only need to write this once but in this case I wanted to have two different types of uh, uh, prompts to the user the very first one where you tell the uh, number range as well as the max attempts and subsequently I just want to say please guess again Okay, so it all depends on how uh, you want the user experience to be. So you can use uh, different variations of this code, okay, when you are uh, doing it yourself. Okay, now uh, what we have done here is we have now reached the stage where the uh, input was wrong, okay, and we have prompted the user to key in a new number. And since we have captured a new number, we also need to increment the number of tries. Okay, so this uh, brings up the count by one, and this is the whole loop. Okay, so this loop will run, okay, either maximum of, it will basically run for maximum of three times, okay, but the moment it, the input from the user matches the random number that was generated, it will exit from the loop. Okay, and of course, if you have a maximum of three tries, then you will also break away from the loop. Okay, so this loop will only run for maximum of three times. Okay, but the moment uh, if you guess it the right the first time or second time, then that's it. Okay, you will already come out of the loop because of the break statement over here. Okay, so once you come out of the loop, okay, there are two possible uh, scenarios. One is you have actually guessed the correct answer, or you have attempted it three times and still uh, have not been able to guess the answer. So we need to check for that. So we are going to say that if guess is equals to answer, then what do we do? We say that we can say print, well done. Okay, and we can also uh, tell the user uh, how much, uh, how many attempts he took. So print, you took uh, so the number of attempts is number of attempts is here number of tries attempts okay so if uh, so this would be printed out if uh, the answer that I guess is the same as the random number that was generated else that means this is the situation where you were not able to guess it at, at all then you say print sorry and you can also tell the user the actual answer correct so you can say print the number was actually answer here okay and at the end of it, you can uh, print one more statement to say that the game is over. So this is the whole uh, program here. So as you can see, first we get the random, uh, generate the random number, prompt the user for the first input, and then we have a loop that uh, keeps uh, running for maximum of three times. But the moment the guess is correct, you will exit from the loop. 
and of course within the loop uh, if the guess is wrong then you also give some hints to the player on whether the guess was higher or lower than the actual answer and you also keep track of the number of attempts and once you come out of the loop you check whether eventually the uh, player was able to guess the correct answer or he was still not getting it correct okay and then you say that the game is over all right so let's uh, save it and run our code here so let's enter a number so let's say i key in five wrong guess your your guess was higher than the answer so the actual answer is now a bit lower so let me try three so well done you took two attempts game over so the answer that was actually generated by the random number was actually three okay now let's try again okay so let's try nine wrong your guess was higher than the answer so let's try seven wrong again it was still higher than the answer so let's try five so this shows an example where three attempts all was wrong and the number was actually two okay so let me just try one more time over here okay so again maximum three attempts uh, so maybe i try five your guess was lower so maybe seven your guess was higher so it's not five it's not seven and five was uh, the answer was lower uh, the guess was lower than answer seven the guess was higher than answer so the answer has to be six okay so this is a very nice uh, a simple game that you can develop on your own okay just to uh, have a feel of how it works and of course it's a, a good uh, assignment to do because it integrates a lot of different concepts together the random number concept the if else checking the while loop okay uh, so all of these are very important basic concepts for programming so please do uh, try it out on your own and make sure that you understand uh, all the concepts that I've explained in this video here. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon in the next lesson. Bye.